is this guy doing? Oh my gosh. Kids <laughs> and their toys. <laughs> what up, Spencer? How you doing, bro? What's up? What's up? How's oh, it going? Oh, man. Can't complain. Beautiful Sunday, would you say? Dude, it's beautiful out, it's man. Get a little chilly, but that, that means the good food's coming, right? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> chilly. Ah, chicken noodles, chicken dumplings. Yes. Hell yeah, baby. All right, we're going to play... You want to play a game, little Let's boy? Play one. What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> All right, we're going to go through each of these. How many times have you been in this garage now? Would you say two, three, four, or something like that? Third time. Third time. Okay. Third time. So we're just going to do make and model. We won't okay. go to the engine route yet. If you can guess the engine, that's a bonus. But okay. uh, we'll see what you can get out of the cars that are in here. You know, there's a couple missing, yeah. but that's okay. We'll go through and get what we can and see see how well you do. And we'll compare you to AJ down the road. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> all right. All, all right. right. So let's start over here. What, what do we got here? You tell me. What make and model this is? What is well, it? Well, that is clearly a Corvette. I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what LS motor it is, but it's clearly got an LS in it, right? Okay. Probably like a 2017, maybe? Close. 2018. 2018. Z06. Okay. Z06. Oh, nice. Yep. Okay. So supercharged then? Yep. Supercharged by default. All Drinks right, that right. gas. Good. All right. What do we got next? Supercharged, or supercharged Super Snake here, right? GT500, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, I know this one's signed, right, as well. It I is signed it. by Carol Shelby. Yep. Um, Year is going to be like a 14. It's a tough one. It's 2011. 11. Okay. 2011. I mean, it's a little bit older. But it yeah. looks for 2011. I mean, it's in decent condition, man. It looks pretty good, honestly. I like the hood pins. Don't, don't, I don't run the hell out of it either. So Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing it running yet. I'm not seeing either of these, actually. Really? I've seen a couple Brought of it to the show, remember? Um, the show we did up north. I had all this whole entire line up there. But that's oh, a different I story. I guess I didn't see me. Yeah, yeah, anyway, she was up there. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, uh, we got the Camaro, obviously. Uh, I know this is one of the Yan yeah, Yanko, Yanko Camaro yep. 2018. Yep, perfect. Nice, nice. Boop. Do you know what number it is? Oh, gosh. No, they made 25 I, I in that year. It's, it's right there for you. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. It's number two. Nice. Yeah, nice. not too shabby. All right, what do we got? Is this the red eye? Yeah, red eye. That would be the red eye. Red eye, Hellcats. Uh, this is just a normal scat pack. What, what? Oh, no, this is a no. Oh, what, my what year is the red eye? What year is the red eye? Oh, gosh. Oh, this is a newer guy. It's like a 2020 then. 2019, close, 2019, very close. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Don't don't diss on my scat. I know for Don't diss on my did. scat pack over here now. <laughs> <laughs> I almost did, and then I saw the wheels, and I was like, Oh, I remember. Oh so yeah. This is the the thousand horsepower four is a tune yep. Challenger 2016. 2015, close. 15. Very close. Okay, I'm close. No, you you're good. All right, I'm you close. you know this baby right here. Everybody oh, yes, everybody plaid. hates it. Everybody hates it. <laughs> the plaid. I remember smacking myself in the face <laughs> for riding this. <laughs> I still want to see that video, by the oh, way. Oh, we got it. We got it. What? Plaid. So what year? Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Hey, I'm, I'm close. You're close. No, you're real. You're real close. Real close. Well, I have what, like a thousand twenty horsepower. They say a thousand twenty horsepower. Do you know how much torque? Thousand fifty foot pounds. You should always always look at torque, brother, because that's what wins the races. Yeah. But so, question for you on this: You drove in it. What'd you think about it? I drove in it. Uh, it is the, it desensitized me. It did. It really did. Everything else Honestly, a little slow. I've been in a couple things, and now everything I'm in, I compare it to a plaid. So it's hard not to. It is. It's crazy, man. It really is. It's hard not to. All right, what do we got here? These are probably my two favorites. Honestly, these two uh, matching Porsche Targas. 911s. Yep. Uh, year is probably twenty. What year on the orange? Oh, they're different years. Uh huh. Oh man. Yep. Oh. Um. Give me a hint. Which one's newer? The green one. The green one's okay, I would have said that too. So 2018, 2020. You're real close. 2017 and 2022. Oh, okay. Yep. Nice. Yep. So, all right. All right. yep. And that one's a cabaret, cabaret, cabaret. I can never say cabaret. the name right, but full drop. Okay. What's this right here? This right here? Yes. Oh, man. Oh, With the gosh. dirt all over the windshield. Lamborghini, Huracan. Not a Huracan. Oh, what's up? Gallardo. Gallardo. Oh, Gallardo. No. Yeah, no, it was close. Oh, I can't mess it's up right. anyway, Guy It's all yes. good, brother. This is an older one. That's like a 2006. Close, 2008. 2008. Okay. 2008, yep. Yep. Yep, nice, beautiful. Yep. You're on top of You know what motor's in it? Almost all Lambos. Yes. V10, yes. V10. Yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a V10, a 5.8, 5.7 V10, something like that? Yep. Something like that? Yep. No, you all do. All right, then we got this Porsche. You said it was 2022. Mm-hmm. I love it, though. With the battery up so it could get charged. The Ferrari. Oh, man. You know These Ferraris, I don't... Let's see, let's see. I'll be honest, I don't know. I don't know which it one. It is a 2010. Yeah. 458. 458. Now, if I wouldn't have told you it was 2010, what year would you have guessed? Honestly. Honestly, like an 18 probably. It's in decent condition. It looks really great, honestly. This, this goes, this is a saying to all the car guys out there. Take care of your rides and your rides still shine and look good years, years, years and later. How many miles do you think are on this bad boy? Take a guess. Ooh, let me look at the interior on that one. Go ahead. Pop the, uh, open the door and pop the hood here. I say pop the hood. Pop the trunk, the trunk, the trunk in front. 
how many miles around this here with this motor in here? Oh my gosh. Full carbon fiber. Le bed. Definitely less than 10,000. Definitely less than seven. Okay. I'd say between four and six. That's why looks are always deceiving. There's 18K on it. 18. Yeah, that's, that's quite 18. a bit for a, for a older car, but she still drives fairly good. Wow. Less these wheels. These wheels don't give you the full power. The brakes are what get me on this one here. These brakes are phenomenal. Oh, they're massive. I love those they're things. Massive. Look at, so look how big that brake is, and then you come back here. These yeah. Power, it's like a little rinky-dink thing. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> but that's where you need your brake power. Okay, let's go to these two over here on the oh, rack. Gosh. Let's try your best. All I right, know. So, 70s Roadrunner. I don't know what year. Yep. Maybe yep. 71. You're real close. 73. 70? 70. 70. Boom. <laughs> all, that one's all original. That's the most all original car in the garage besides the Mustang up here on the rack. And we'll get to that in a minute. I will say it's probably my second favorite color car in the garage. I like, I like Sublime. That yeah, Sublime like that color. Green. Yeah. Okay. What's below it? Below it is an RT. <laughs> yep. RT Cornette. Uh, what year? Yeah. Corn oh, I wouldn't have said Cornette. Cornette. Oh, yeah. well, I gave, I gave you one for free. You then. gave me the one for free. What year is this guy? This is going to be an older one too. Is it older than my dad? I don't know. He's 74. I'd say yes. 72. 68. 68. Okay, I was not close. Too far at, least, off. at least it's right. right? Not, not too far off. What do you think about the color of it? Do you like the color or not? Don't the lie. color, I love, I love it. it. I love the color. It's just, I feel like it's kind of a common, not not common on older cars. No, I know what you mean. But, you know, like this green is, and nowadays, I guess some, a lot of cars are getting wrapped this color, though. Yeah. But this is not a wrap, guys. I, I'm looking at it right now. No, it's you not can a wrap. even see the dirt that still needs to be cleaned on it. <laughs> it, 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 it ain't a wrap. That's guaranteed. Okay. I will say, I love the matching interior on this, too. Dude, dude, this is one of my favorite interiors, honestly. It's clean. It's got that cream white color going on. TCI shifter. It's a, it's a monster. It's a monster. I love it. What's the custom gauge on there? In there? Is that uh, AFR gauge? Yeah. Nice. Yep. All right, let's move over all the way to the left before you get to the easy ones, because you know okay. these. I know you know. I know you know these two ones really simple. All right, let's start. Right, so the, on the bottom. What year? This is an older one. Is it sixties? Nope. No, seventies. Yep. Seventies, seventy. Ooh, it's nice. Seventy-six. Seventy-two. Seventy-two. And here's a way you can always tell the seventy-two. The last year of the chrome, so they didn't do chrome after seventy-two. Really? Yep. Okay. After seventy. Now, now you is can. Still a fiberglass body. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, let me ref let me rephrase. Yes and no. Some of it is now that we've done things to it. So, <laughs> okay, I see, I see. up to the tip top. All right, up to the tip top. My favorite color. I once actually painted a Miata this color. Did you really? Miata. Yeah, my my first Miata. I pulled out of a swamp. I spray painted that color. It did not look like that. <laughs> it did not look like that. It did not. Uh, it looked black when I sold it because I painted it black again. But mm -hmm. uh, this is a two thousand two. Nine, oh, nine, 97, 97. 96. You're 96. close. Oh, you're, so you're always confident. one year off. You're just I was one so year. On that one too. So it's not a 97. I'm a 97. It's uh, a 96. There you go. 97, 96. Oh, man. 96 Mustang Cobra Mystique paint job. Mystique. So what's why do people call it Mr. Chrome sometimes? Well, that's just another name. For me, that's just another name for Mystique. And yeah. They call it Mr. Chrome. I always call it Mystique because that's actually what it says. Versus okay. Misty Chrome, but basically it's just paint shifting. It's like I love it. the, the third name for it is Chameleon, right? Because it changes chameleon, changes yeah. multiple colors depending on how the sunlight but so or light is. There's so many different hitting. Chameleon paints. There's the peach ones and stuff like that. So. I know. I think when you get back to the originals like these, um, they have a little bit different of a base, but for the most part, I don't want to say they all look the same. They don't look all the same, but they kind of give the same flair and, and same look. That's what started the wraps in this color, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. 100%. 100%, 100%. People don't believe it's it's paint, and uh, legit is Well, because that's probably the most common you wrap color. You know how you can show it's paint on this car? Because when you've accidentally hit a curb, not hit, but, you know, you got some, <laughs> there's some war wounds on there. She she uh, she does sit in the garage. Can I guess how many miles around? Do you know how many miles around? Yes. Good uh, guess. What would you guess? I guess 40 cal. 40K. There's 40, uh, 42,000. 42. Yeah. Okay. I got pretty yeah. close That's now. good. Damn, man. You all, you all up in this business, man. You out here in the middle of the night looking at this shit or what? <laughs> all right. What do we got here? Let's see. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, this guy on the bottom. Mm, this, is, this, is the, this is the dream car of a lot of older men, man. It's like an old Cuda. Boom! Is it really? It really is. Oh, well, I know someone that had a, a Cuda in that color, actually. It, oh, yeah? That yeah. sublime color? That sublime color, yeah. Now, so now is, year. Oh, man. This is, probably, is this the oldest car in the collection? No. no. The, the Cornette at 68 is. Okay. So it's, it's older than a 68. It's newer than a 68, but it's definitely older than like a 78. How about, I'll help you out. It's... Yeah. Um, 72. Three, two, one. The same as that. 70. Yes. There we go. I don't, if you said it, I'm sorry. So. No, I didn't say it. 70s. 1970s. Had the engine swapped out, done a lot of different things to 70, it. But... No, other than our hip pins on this one, too nice. Yeah. Is it motor swapped? Yeah. What's in this now? 
Yeah, it's a 440 stroked out to 500 cubic <laughs> inch. So it's had a little bit of work. There still needs to be some other things done. It's fast, it moves, it shifts well. It's obviously a manual with the old pistol grip a lot of people love. We'll get a quick shot of that old pistol grip. Now, the Roadrunner puts this pistol grip to shame because the pistol grip in the Roadrunner is about four foot long. I mean, yeah. it is literally like a lever that you're pulling on. This thing's not up close and personal, but... Hey, interesting, interesting. All different. All right, what do you got on the top? Uh, we got a Demon. I know it's not older than a 68. The OG I, Demon? I wouldn't have guessed that. I probably would say like a 74 OG Demon. Do you remember what year the Red Vet is? Uh, 76. 72. 72, okay. <laughs> 72. 72. That's how, that's how, it's hard for me to remember everything too, but I go 72, so there's two 72s here, really. Okay. So there okay. you go. All right, what do we got here? Oh, I have some fond memories in this thing. Been, <laughs> you I've sat been, in this I bad boy. I tried to sit in it. This is one, one of only two cars I've ever been in that I've unsuccessfully been able to sit in. The other one was an MR2. Uh -huh. I do not fit in MR2s. I fit in Miatas. I fit in Mini Coopers. I fit in Fiat's. <laughs> but I do not fit in old Shelby ACRs, right? A a ACs. ACs. ACs, ACs, yeah. yeah. Uh, I do not fit in this guy. I got the door closed, but there's no way that steering wheel was there's, turning. There's no way, yeah. And this is a 69? Uh, 68. 68, okay, so same same as the old guy over yeah. there, too. So. Pa paperwork and assembly say different. It's actually assembled in 2002, if my memory serves me correct. It was in The Fast and the Furious and Charlie's Angels, actually. This specific one? This, or? Uh, this one right here was in two different movies. Oh, shit. Yeah, and okay. I'll tell you what, the, I promise you this. They can make, so first of all, the car, I mean, from physical appearance, is looks great. I mean, yeah. there's not any big scratches, anything that would be like, oh my gosh, you know, it's trash. But, and it sounds good, but it drove like crap, bro. When we got this back here, it was spitting oils, dripping fluid. I mean, oh. just everything. And, and it was just terrible. So it just goes to show you in the movies, they can make anything just look and run fantastic, even though it didn't. That's something I hear common. You know, you'll, you'll hear about movie cars, some show cars, prop cars, and they, oh. they're just run. To the they're ground. just running to the ground. This one was, but hey, a little bit of a little bit of love and attention, and she's. Actually, I never would have known. I never would have. She's known. actually the most dangerous car in the collection. Oh, I can see. And that. it's not because it's open or anything. It's because this car weighs eighteen hundred pounds, and there's probably six hundred and fifty horse. I haven't had a dyno, but six to six fifty is realistic for this. And when you kick it, you have to be careful how much you push on the accelerator, or you just go completely. You oh, just I, do oh, a donut. It's, it's a really short wheel. Oh yeah, it's it's really short. And the other thing, shorter than a Miata, maybe even. It's damn close. Yeah. That's what I said. The other thing that's dangerous about when you open the door, if you're if you're wearing shorts <laughs> and this is hot, my pops burnt the back of his legs right off of that. Actually, left skin on it. It was rather nice. Nice, had a, nice tattoo. Had a nice tattoo on the back of there. It stayed there for quite a while. All right. And then the the buttes here. I'm, I'm a little upset because I don't remember the year, but I know it's a 720s, obviously. Yep. Beautiful color. Third favorite in the garage behind the Mystique. Mystique. Okay. And uh, the old... What they we'll call get that? to your... Uh, Roadrunner? Yeah. Yeah. We'll get to your favorite cinema. Is this a spider? Can you tell? Yes or no? Is it a convertible? It's got a glass top. There's no way it can be a spider. It's definitely a spider. It's that's, a spider with a glass that's top? The one, that's the one of the things they did. They hit it very, very well. On the really? coupe, on the coupes, when you open the door, you'll see this kind of top piece almost come off with it. Okay. So it's just a little bit different. This is a 2022. Oh really? Yep, nice. 2022. So oh, now they said that too. Now they moved over to the 750s, which is you know the newer variant. They're not making 720. So motor-wise, what motor does this one have? It? Uh, I believe it's a. Hey, I always get confused between this and is the. A V8 uh, or V10? No, it's a V8, but uh, it's, I think it's a 3.9 liter. If I'm not mistaken, it could be a four liter, but I think it's 3.9 twin turbo charge. Makes about. 710 horse they call it a 720 but it actually is what i call a 710 because the truth is 710 so to the wheels take off you know 15 percent you know i'm gonna say you're sitting at 630 something like that it's still fast because it's lightweight it's and i mean fun, yeah. the high end is where this thing is like you're kicking down from 60 miles an hour it's it's pretty tough to is beat. this a fiberglass or carbon fiber shell at all like uh fiberglass, fiberglass? Yeah. yep yep nice. all right <clears throat> all right what do you what, what year make a model here? oh is this the california special Close. Very close. It's a special edition. I remember that. I remember the coolest thing about it was those carbon four fiber uh, emblems. There. Yeah, everybody thinks that I put these on. These are from the factory, and that's what makes that's what gives it. It's kind of I'll say more more rare. The turn marker kind of looks like a keyhole. It, it does. <laughs> all all badges today made are the yellow scuderias, um, but in this one got ordered special with the black carbon fiber badges. This is a 2020 812 super fast. You know the motor in it. 2012 8, uh, V10. V12? It's V12. V12 it's it? got a V12 in it. Yep. Let me double check, guys. Let me double check. Okay. <laughs> There's in no the front? Oh, the motor on this one's in the front. Here, oh, let's 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 pop it real quick so you can take a quick that look. That brown is beautiful on the inside, though. Oh, it's. I think this is one of the best done interiors I personally have ever seen, and I might be biased, but 
Man, I think they did a great job. The front bumper is not my favorite. What's that? The front bumper is not my favorite. Yeah, fair enough. I, uh, I like the stance of this car myself, personally. Yeah? I think the McLaren looks better, but overall, I think this is that a better is car. That is beautiful. Holy crap. Look at the air intakes on this. It's literally the size of your arm, bro. Dude, it is. <laughs> I'm a giant. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fucking all the way from your shoulder up, man. Dude, that's <laughs> yeah. crazy. She's nasty. 6.5 liters of pure... We'll call it Italian-made muscle. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Now, let's go to your top three. Give me your top old, old school. So, you got the four to pick one. The I would do the Demon. The Demon? The demon? Sure. Okay. I, I like the old Demon, but I like how they revitalize them, too. Yep. So, the new ones are pretty nice. Can't, can't, can't go wrong in my eyes. Okay. Let's go mid. So, like, 90s to, to 2020. It's not... It's down just because of the paint. It's going to have to be the Mystique, uh, the Mystique Mustang. I'm so glad you picked that because a lot of people don't even know what it is. And the truth is, these are pretty rare to find anymore. Dude, you can they see are. Them. Oh, and well, it's... this is only the second one I've ever seen in my entire life. Really? Yeah. yeah. There's, so, there's a site that you have to register them on. And on the site, there's about 2,000 registered. But out of it, I kind of went through and as best as I could just estimated. Out of the 2,000 registered, there was about four or 500 that were totaled, but they still had them up there, but they showed the total picture. So there's maybe 15, 16, 14 to 1,600 left of these That's that are crazy. in good condition. That's so crazy. This will probably be long-term one of the most uh, expensive cars in the collection. Oh, yeah. This and the Roadrunner, for Road sure, Runner because it's all, it's all original. How, how many do they make in that color, you think? That's a great question. I don't Probably have the answer. Yeah. We finally stumped them, guys. Yeah, no. I, I, at least I admit when I don't know things. You hey, know, I'll keep but, asking yeah. that question. Yeah. Too. <laughs> Until I get an answer. Yeah, I have, I have no clue. Okay, one last question. Out of the, the McLaren, the A12, the 458, and the Turbo S, yeah. which one's your favorite? You're not going to include the, uh, the, the Lamborghini? Oh, I did forget about the poor Lamborghini, but I wouldn't have thought you'd have picked that, but maybe you will. Well, I got to say, I, I played a lot of the OG racing games, right? Okay. You know, right. and there, that Lamborghini was always in there. But if you got one, you could take away and just be like, it's mine. It's, I'm going. It's the McLaren every You're day. taking the McLaren. The McLaren every day. I mean, it's beautiful. It's fast. It's fun. Which do you like fast. better from a color perspective? What color do you like the best on, on, on these cars? On, the, on, the, on these, on ones, these here. ones here. Plus the Lambo. I mean, you got two blacks to deal with here. but I, I, would, I would love the – I've been photographing a orange Mustang a lot lately, and it picks up so well. Really? So I, I, I think it might be the Porsche in the back. There. Really? You like yeah. the orange? That orange back there. It would look really great in Halloween time, too. Mm. You put some cobwebs inside. Yeah. <laughs> some big cobwebs. Yes, yeah, right. Lava orange. It is a beautiful color. Lava orange is what they call it. That's called lava orange, man. Yeah, that's beautiful. Man. Yeah. All right, brother. Well, hey, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you 85. percent 85. percent Yeah, that's All good. Right. There was only a, you were for the most part you were right on the spot. There's just a couple of years, just a year off, and that was that was really it. So. All right. All right, guys, we out. Spencer, thanks for your time. Guys, follow Spencer Limitless Media. I'll put the links below. You guys have a blessed day. We'll catch you and his drone on the next one. Peace. <laughs>